ये शाख के रागी गा रहे हैं वॉट दे कॉल सुर हिंदी पर वो दोज ऑफ यू हु आर फेमिलियर विद द रिसो नो दर इज अ सुर इन शाह लतीफ कॉल्ड सुर सिंधी पर वो यहाँ दे आर सिंगिंग अ दोहा ऑफ कबीर कागा सब तन खाइयो चुन चुन खाइयो मास मोरे दो नैना मत खाइयो मोहे पिया मिलन की आस और ये कबीर का दोहा Uh, बिल्कुल वाई के अंदाज में जिस जैसे बेत और वाई गा, गाया जाता है दम धम्बूर के साथ इट हैज एंटर्ड द ओरलिटी ऑफ शाह लतीफ एंड इट्स इवन बिन गिवन अ नेम सुर हिंदी बरवो प्लीज लिसन Can can you raise the volume, Shabnam? No, fine. <coughs> so I hope that was clear. I must say I was uh, completely wonderstruck to hear this uh, uh, this recording of a kabir doha uh, spun into uh, a bet with uh, dhambur and uh, it is this kind of porosity that I think really moves me uh, to find that there are no uh, compartments in a sense and uh, <clears throat> now I'll <clears throat> just share with you some resonances between the kabir and the shah latif poetic tradition where i find it quite magical to see uh, that as we began our research we would come across uh, motifs metaphors ideas that were so resonant jaise ki humne suna tha naina antar aav tu nain jhamp tohe lu na main dekhu aur ko na tohe dekhan do ye humne कबीर के हवाले से सुना था और जब हम कच्छ में गए तो वी केम अक्रॉस दिस अखियन में अची वे तवारे आऊ ढकिया ओखे न डिसी डे ने आऊ ना पसा बो को सो इट वॉज क्वाइट मैजिकल टू 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 डिस्कवर दीज कॉन्सिनेंसेस और many of you may have heard uh um this bet uh i will share the doha of kabir and i will share the bet of shah sai kabir says chakho chahe prem ras rakho chahe maan do khadag ek mian dekha suna nahi kan kabir is saying uh either taste the nectar of love or keep your pride and ego intact trying to fit two swords in one sheath i've never heard of such a thing ab shasai kya kehte hain ki na maan ki na mainda mane khudi ne pa bin tan jay ek na you will forgive me for my sindhi Uh, it's not the best but i'm trying so this we translated as how will a single heart house both self and god there is in space for two swords in a single sheath uh ya kabir ek aur similar idea uh, is dohe mein batate hain uh jab main tha tab hari nahi ab hari hain main nahi prem gali ati sankari ya mein do samay nahi you know this uh when i was hari wasn't now hari is i'm not the path of love is slender two just cannot fit um similarly uh kabir ki bahut hi ek famous uh, uh poem hai chalti chaki dekh kar diya kabira roe in do patan ke beech mein sabut bachana koi 
जिसका जवाब उन्हीं के शिष्य और बेटे कमाल ने दिया था चाकी चाकी सब कहे खीली कहे ना कोई जो खीली से लाग रहा वा कुबाल न मांगा हो सो द ग्राइंड स्टोन टर्न एंड वर्ल्ड कबीर वॉचेज एंड वीप्स कॉट बिटवीन टू स्लैब्स नो वन वॉज लेफ्ट होल ग्राइंडिंग स्लैब्स आर ऑल दे सी नो वन नोटिस द सेंटर पिन A few grains drop close to it and escape unbroken. और जब हम कराची में शूट कर रहे थे तो एक बहुत ही सुंदर सूफी गायक से हमारी भेंट हुई शाह शफी फकीर साहब उन्होंने ये गा के सुनाया जंधर पिहंदे जेडियों थे ओ केड़ो कीस करन के पीस जी पामाल थ्या के घुमरन मंज घरन साबुत सही रहन जे काबू रहया कीर से सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ वंडर इन इन डिस्कवरिंग ऑल दीज रेजिनेंट एकोइंग पोएटिक इमेजेस एंड मोटिव्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स वन हैड हर्ड पोएम्स ऑफ कबीर लाइक ये तो घर है प्रेम का yes. खाला का घर नहीं शीश okay, काट भूमि धरे तब बैठे घर माही एजाज साहब यू हैव टू म्यूट योर सेल्फ थैंक यू सो एनकाउंटरिंग दिस दोहा ऑफ कबीर ये तो घर है प्रेम का खाला का घर ना ही शीश काट भोई धरे तब बैठे घर माही इसमें सर को काटने की बात है एंड दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी एक्सटेंसिव पोएटिक इमेज इन कबीर सो देन वेन वी वेंचर्ड इन टू द पोएट्री ऑफ शाह लतीफ तब तो इट वॉज amazing to discover this image this image of cutting off the head uh express itself in such rich diversity and detail whether in surs yaman uh, kalyan or sur surat in the in the story between raidiach and bijal uh, where bijal is the minstrel and a guru figure who asks him to cut off his head and uh, also when i was shooting had an had shafi fakir sahab sang this sar darre kadam yarish fida shud che baja shud e bare gira bude vada shud che baja shud sir dar kadam yar fida shud che baja shud e nubar gira bud ada shud che baja shud and uh, yes thank you thank you um the idea of cutting off your head and placing it at the feet of the friend being just as well the idea that this head is too heavy a burden uh the head that we ordinary ordinary people guard and protect so much for a sufi it is the cheapest thing to give away uh it's like raidiach says bijal to bijal is this head all you want uh it's a really cheap deal in one of his bets he says so uh to discover this entire poetry unfurl in shah latif uh about the idea of cutting off the head uh to discover it even in the socio political history of the sindh region through uh the figure of shah anayat shahid of jhok um to discover the story of uh not just a sufi speaking about philosophy and writing poetry and abstract symbolism but to discover the figure of shah inayat shahid who was actually a, a farmer a farmer revolutionary who gathered uh, who created a commune uh, which upset the local political establishment and religious establishment of that era uh which literally led to his head being cut off uh and it's very moving to see how 
in the lore around Shah Inayat Shaheed, the uh, head travels all the way to the Sultanate in Delhi. Um, and uh, it, it uh, mm, continues to speak a stream of verse, uh, of which this is, is one that has survived as an iconic memory in memory of Shah Inayat Shaheed. But that poetry is called Besar Nama. It is the, the ballad of the headless. So for me, this journey of discovering all this history, because it's, it's almost easier to, to speak in the poetic and the abstract, but to see it come together and in the lived socio-political, where someone's head was really cut off, and to see the links between that and Sur Karayal, which is, I think, some a connection that not many have made, which was very exciting for, for, for me to discover and make those links, listening to folklore on this side of the border as well, which have similar images coming from the, the, the historical event of Shah Inayat Shaheed. So this is a very magical story. Kabir ke is shishkat bhoi dhare wali ek poem se leke to discover this entire poetics through Shah Sai and through the history of Sufism in, in Sindh. And <clears throat> I'll speak a little bit about <clears throat> um, the idea of death or moth, moth har moth ki jo kafiyat hai, fana ki kafiyat, jo Sufi uh, ki hoti hai, wo that is so resonant with Kabir again. Uh, Mere khayal se, um, in the keynote address, uh, you were very kind to quote this uh, one poem of ours um, from uh, Shah Sai, crashing, crumbling, dissolving, disappearing, the whole world scatters in a moment. Your dear one's feet stomp the earth over your head. In all moments, we carry a spade and a string to dig and measure out our graves. Now, to say that this is uh, extremely resonant with the spirit of Kabir is an understatement. Because Kabir has stood in front of you every time. That is what makes you a bhakta. That is what makes you a Sufi. So uh, Kabir will say, uh, Kabir nobat apani din das lei bajaye. Ye shehar ye galiyan dekhe hi chut jai. The drum rolls of the self beat for just ten days. It will vanish in a flash, this city, its alleys and ways. Rovan har bhi muye, muye yani mar gai. Muye jalavan har. Hai hai karte te muye, kaso karo pukar. Dead the man who lit the pyre, dead those who saw the body burn, dead the mourners, dead the sobbers. Now to whom will you turn? Ved mua, rogi mua, mua sakal sansar, ek kabira na mua, jake ram adhar. Saviors die, sufferers die, everyone's drowning and dying, only kabir stares alike, ram threw him a lifeline. Anyway, so I just wanted to say that these consonances between two great poetic voices was a very exciting thing to discover uh, in our research into the oral traditions of Shah Latif. But Shah Latif, of course, is utterly, gloriously distinct and unique from Kabir in that um, he revels in the topography of nature and, in a sense, the real land of Sindh that he traversed and discovered and knew so intimately. Uh, to discover that, that quality of poetry in a Sufi's voice where he entangles you emotionally with the wind, with the clouds, with the mountains, with the earth, with the sun, with the moon, he quibbles with them, he quarrels with them, he makes them friends and allies. 
and they are always resonant of uh, some internal truth. The mountain that Sassi battles is her internal roadblock at some level, too. And uh, when she crosses that internal hurdle, the mountain becomes a friend. The mountain sits and weeps with her. So it's so moving. These, these things you don't discover in Kabir. Shah Sai ke kalam mein to drama hai, kirdar hai, kahaniya hai, legends hai, plot hai, narrative hai. This is completely, it was enthralling to discover all these stories and actually to discover shades of these characters in one's own psyche, in one's own psycho-spiritual universe and to discover those moments where you feel like a sassi or you feel like Marui trapped in a, in a fortress that is your own mind, held uh, hostage by, uh, by Umar who is your own nafs, your own small ego. Uh, to, to discover that moment when you feel like sassi, uh, when you have the courage of transgression, where you take the leap, where you plunge to discover uh, Sasi, where you taste the power, the dignity of sorrow, the dignity, the path of sorrow. Acho suran variu, karyu sur pachar, kini ghana, kini thora. Nai koi suran kandhar, muke dina je datar, mujhuli pai jhaliya. So this is very, very, very new, was very new uh, to discover this quality of, of uh, mm, emotional, uh, spiritual uh, textures. You don't find this in Kabir. So, बहुत मजा भी आया, बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला in this journey. Uh, despite our limitations of not understanding Sindhi, uh, not being able to read it, not being very well versed in the Sufi tradition, it was a journey and a path of discovery. And uh, we, I think, have only just put our toes in the water, in the waters of Shah Sai. So it is uh, very gratifying and humbling to have this book published in your land. So thank, thank you. you again. Thank you, Shabnam ji. Thank you, <clears throat> I, have, I have a few more questions. But before, I when we I had an idea when we were talking about Kabi. And the exact translation of the Kabir's Doha. And when we draw analogies of Bhitai with, with Persian tradition as well, and I see there are some 40 bats, 40 or 41 bats of uh, Shah Bhitai, which are exact translation of Molana Rumi's verses. Not idea, word to word and line by line translation. So perhaps I think, I wonder that in previous times, there was no idea of or narrow-mindedness to rate it as a plagiarism, so that Suf in Sufi tradition, you can borrow the idea and present in your own language. I would ask uh, um, a different question now about the uh, about legacy of Latif in your part of, uh, part of uh, uh, Kutch. Um, <coughs> as you have said, you have said in your book, when the Bare Sagir ki taqseem hui, so sirf it was not a partition, geographical partition, but Bhitai ka jo apna culture tha, ya cultural legacy thi, uska bhi partition tha. Uske hawale se mein poochna chahoongi, aap ye batayin ki, what is, what is the legacy of your side of border on the one hand? This is one question. And I also relate to, uh, uh, this, relate this question to what you said about Kabir, that you have been with Kabir Panthis and you made fakirs of Bhitai as well. Now, what are what are the similarities and what are the differences, Kabir Panthis and Bhitai Fakirs, and how uh, 
you uh, see them uh, in, 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 in your own uh, idea of uh, uh, when, especially when we talk about uh, uh, those fakirs who are in that part of the land, they never visited shrine, they don't meet the people. Whatever the exegesis are being written on Bhitai, they are not aware of it. But still, what are the binding forces that you know make them sustain or nurture that love and passion for Bhitai over there? So there are a few questions together. I'm asking. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Saherji. Aapki awaaz thodi cut cut ke aari, but I think I got the drift of your question. Um, I think the legacy of Shah Latif on this side of the border is not a very thriving or a robust one. In fact, the, the singers of the white tradition, which is mostly uh, members of the Jat herding pastoral communities uh, in Kutch and Rajasthan, uh, they sing Shah Sai quite like the Fakirs of Bhitra Darga. They sing on a dhambur, the beds and wives of Shah Latif. Uh, simultaneously, there are uh, many Hindu Dalit uh, folk singers of uh, Kabir and other voices and other mystic poets who also sing Shah Sai in the tradition uh, inspired by Mohan Bhagat and Kamar Ram. Uh, which is the where, where they sing on the tambura, the kafis of Shah Sai. Um, so uh, it is a tradition that uh, I would say is is struggling to uh, it's surviving, but it's not thriving. I think that's the difference. Mm -hmm. It is surviving in a context where there are very few uh, Sindhi speakers, people who understand this Sindhi poetry. So a lot of the poetry which um, uh, non-Sindhi folk singers will sing of Shah Latif, the words get mixed up, the meanings get confused. They're not very uh, alert to the language. So that is definitely. But one bhav, a feeling, or ek wo ek reverence bhi barkarar hai uh, or ek uh, sikh ek pyas bilkul hi barkarar hai um, but i i say this with some some semblance of sadness or not sadness but just worry in a sense because um, i don't think this art form uh, of by singing on this side of the border is getting enough nourishment. Um, and maybe digital uh, exchanges will help bridge that, where listening and m having mutual exchanges across the border between the wife um, singers and the fakirs of Shah Latif on this side, and communication and exchanges might enrich that. Um, otherwise, it's a tradition that's surviving but not thriving. Um, and um, uh, yeah, that's all I'll say. OK. Um, so I would like to talk about oral tradition of Bhittai's poetry. Last time when we had our program together in the Synth Literature Festival, we discussed about you, re you had read one why to me. Um, which so, I was planning to read again. So you please give me the honor of reading it because I, I, that's the I would sample that, I managed to get. I'd be happy if you recite that, Shabdam Ji. <laughs> but I have, yes, you know what it, I did? I tried to search that um, that why all over the internet and from people. I sent almost yes. every friend of mine who knew about Bitai. And I got yes. different versions. And I uh -huh. got different versions of that why and I in some versions, certain lines were mentioned, in some not. So when you recited fully, the yes. one that you sent me, and yes, the one I that I have, it's a bit slightly different, because I, mine has a few more lines okay. added. So I'd be happy if you recite it, and then I recite afterwards. Thank you. Thank Please. you, Saherji. Uh, so basically, your question was about uh, uh, the beauty of an oral tradition of a mystic poet, you know, I feel uh, a mystic, a 
A Sufi or a mystic who's truly worth his salt leaves behind a growing republic of poetry. It doesn't stay frozen in, in one text as the authentic original. It grows because people make it their own. They, they love it, they add to it, and unka oeuvre bharta chala jata hai. So, humne is kitab mein bhi us ora oral tradition mein se kai aisi poems yahan include ki jo hume risale mein nahi mili. And here I would really like to uh, pay uh, my acknowledgement and tribute to the late Abdullah Hussain Turk, Haji Sahab, as he was called, um, to whom this book is also dedicated. Because I don't think without him uh, literally holding our hands and walking us into this universe of Shah Sain, we would have discovered Bhittai in the way we did. Uh, Abdullah Hussain uh, Turk Ji was an incredible uh, walking, talking, breathing uh, individual, jinki har saans mein shasai the actually. Um, I would also pay tribute to Umar Haji Suleiman Sahab, who is another um, gyani of shasai, from whom we've learnt a lot. The singers Mitha Khan and Sumar Jat. There are many younger seekers as well, Anwar Luhar, Mazuruddin, from whom we have heard these oral uh, poems of Shah Sain. And this particular one we heard from Abdul Hussein Turk. Um, it is a moment where Sassi is saying, I, I will conquer uh, and I will find my punu no matter what. So she says here, Karra dungar kah ghani Ma choti e te chadan diyas. Munji bol baroch se. Aau pere pand kan diyas. Pere pand chadiyo. Ta aau gode ghisran diyas. Gode ghisran chadiyo. Ta aau chel bar choran diyas. Chel pa choran chadiyo. Ta sine se soran diyas. Sine pa son chadiyo. Ta thunthe thadkan diyas. Thunthe thadkan chadiyo, ta hathan se halin diyas. Hathe halan chadiyo, tab akhyan se in diyas. Miru thai miruan me sab jangal jagin diyas. Pakhi thai pakhyan me sab sar so dhin diyas. Madu thai maduan me sab goth golin diyas. In par Abdul Latif che aun punu devendiyas po milai to milias na ta gorai jaan jatan ta. Very beautiful. Live HD quality coverage sirf a sirf electronic diary de. Sindhu Pahriu web broadcast network electronic diary.